on the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. I mean, to say I could sing, you know, so I'm you know, exercising my, my newfound license to sing. Anyway, it's the first day of December. The Christmas season is upon us. And back in the day, people used to get together as a family to make Christmas staples, you know, the sorrel, the cake, the ham, and decorating the tree. But in 2018, a lot of people are opting for the ready-made route. So the question is, are we hurting the Christmas spirit for the sake of convenience? Let's get real with a couple of friends, Don Lindo and Devon Smith. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. It's a pleasure to have you two here. Thank you. Here. So <laughs> Christmas day number one, because Christmas is entire December. Mm -hmm. um, what's different about Christmas now? Well, Christmas remains the same for me. I don't know if it's a country in me, but Christmas remains the same for me. Yeah. So Devon, what about you? Um, I, we, well, we, we were having a discussion while waiting, <laughs> and we, we both agree that Christmas is kind of the same for us now, but I'm going to kind of play devil's advocate this mm -hmm. morning because I think a lot of persons are now opting for a ready-made route, as you put it, mm -hmm. because of the, the, the convenience of it. You don't necessarily have the time. Um, some persons may be financially strapped. They can't go out and buy things. Like from to make yeah. everything from scratch mm -hmm. so you know they probably opt to go out and just pick up a cake in Mega Mart right. as opposed to get all the ingredients and sit down and put it all together so um, I think it's more of a time crunch than anything mm -hmm. that has persons moving away from that. So, so does that change the spirit of Christmas um, in a yeah. sense because families get together and they bake together. I remember mm -hmm. my grandmother and I, I I, well, I wouldn't bake, I'd just, you know, I'd be the taste, taste test it is. every single time. But does that ready-made thing now makes Christmas feel very blah? For me, Christmas is all about getting it done. You know what I mean? There's something about having everybody together and being in the kitchen. And I do all the big cooking. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you know, the week before Christmas meat season, you know, you start cut up all of your fruits and you start freezing them. So there's just something about being together mm -hmm. and being a part of it. But, but my thing is, if your granny could have go to the supermarket or whatever and buy mm -hmm. all of them something there, she probably would because a lot of people don't want to spend that four or five hours in the kitchen because mm -hmm. while you're doing that, you could be enjoying something else. You yes, could just be you relaxing can, and no man, no man will work that man. Music oh, yeah. play and I things agree. are gone, so you're still, you're still enjoying. Yeah. Things and times have changed. And, and, I'm, and I'm inclined to agree as well because that four hours I could be doing something else something in my else. family. Exactly. Right, right. You know? And a lot of people are not opting to volunteer. Right. You know, if I'm not cooking in the kitchen, I can go and volunteer wherever and we can make yeah. a, a whole yes. celebration of that. Yes, <laughs> I hear everybody. And I agree with the point that you're making. But mm -hmm. for me, there is just something authentic about doing it. Mm. Mind you not done. I love to cook. Mm. I don't but mind the cooking. I don't, I don't mind buying the cake. It. I don't mind buying the cake because I don't bake. But you know? I love to cook. So I look forward to Christmas. I look I look forward to being in the kitchen and you know seeing people coming in and mm -hmm. oh me can't taste this. Oh me can't so, so you understand Dawn, what I mean? Christmas for you is food. Exactly. Christmas for me is food. It's not even the tree. <laughs> no, that, no, no, no that's... Christmas for me is food. Is right. is I feel it's the one time of the mm -hmm. year that I check out our work, check out everything, oh. and this is my time, not mm -hmm. just to feed my family, mm -hmm. but to invite people to come over and to be able to do that, share that with them. Never. Mm -hmm. what's your... But, um, I mean, yeah. I, I take her point, but at the same time, I would say that a lot of persons don't have that luxury to take the time from work and yeah, go yes. home like for, for Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> you know, I mean, we... A lot of persons, let's look at Kingston for example, a lot of persons are from the rural areas, from Montego Bay, from St. Elizabeth, Manchester. all around the island. And they don't get to make it home for Christmas. That's just the reality of it because mm -hmm. you get, you're at work on the 24th. Mm -hmm. yeah. that, that's how it is, you right. know. And yeah. a lot yeah. of companies don't give you that much time to leave work and get home for Christmas. And then by the 27th, you You're back at work. work. Yeah. So, I mean, I do get her point, but at the same time, does making a cake or buying a cake diminish the Christmas spirit? Spirit. So yeah. it's about and I don't yeah. think it does. I don't think it does. Uh, so for Dawn, Christmas is about food. Right. Um, mm -hmm. For you, Christmas is about what? Well, Christmas for me is about family. And I'll, I'll say family and not only those that you're related to, but family in terms of 
close friends, people mm -hmm. that you mm -hmm. share a certain bond with right. and have a certain relationship with, you know, people that you are most comfortable with and enjoy spending time with. Because for a lot of persons nowadays, especially in Kingston, if you don't get to go home, what you find is that you have a gathering of friends and everybody takes a dish and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And it's just as good as being with your family. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It's, it's almost so. like um, the Americans when they have Thanksgiving. Right. Um, when I was there at school, Thanksgiving, we couldn't go home because we were still mm -hmm. at school. But everyone got together and they celebrated. My favorite part of Christmas is Grand Market. Okay. Yeah. 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 Growing up, I enjoyed going to Grand Market in Manchester. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I sit down doing this because <laughs> <laughs> she's scared of her wits. But what can people do um, as families now um, mm -hmm. with times changing and everybody, everybody opting for convenience? What can they do, especially the younger generation, mm -hmm. to feel that Christmas spirit? Like, you know, just to, I don't know, because I think the generation now, the younger mm -hmm. kids, they, they won't experience the things that we did. That we did. You know, so. Well, as I said, I, I, for me, I think Christmas is about being around the people that you care about, people that you know care about you, and people who you gener generally share a genuine bond with. So I think once that's there, mm -hmm. then automatically, you know, the Christmas spirit will be there because you're in a place of comfort, laughter, mm -hmm. and, you know, you can just feel the camaraderie or the, 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 yeah. the love. Yeah in the air so for me that's how, that's about it when it comes down to christmas spirit it, it's really about the people that you're with and so surrounded by right? yeah. and, and, and for don it just looks like food. yeah um, no, no i mean you know it's i love to cook you know so christmas is like my big time of the year that i look forward to but research also shown that this time of the year is when suicidal rate is at its peak you know mm. because we were talking about just the atmosphere, the feeling, you know, in the atmosphere. So if you don't have people to share that with. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you should say, what would you tell them is just make sure that the people that you love know that you love, love them, them. Yeah. you know? So, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, Happy. there you have it. Happy. The director of the DeMarie Institute and marketing exec, Devon Smith. Let's kickstart the next We'll kickstart the morning. The next, <laughs> the, first. the next video pick yeah. with Alex Agame. Go harder. Yeah.